friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing to do with you and it is an unboxing from Jouer Cosmetics. They sent me an email advertising some like mystery boxes and I am very conservative when it comes to mystery boxes because I feel like most of the time I don't really love them. And I don't know why I say that because I really enjoy unboxings and like BoxyCharm, Birchbox and Ipsy and yet like for whatever reason, I hold the mystery boxes to like a higher standard when they're all in essentially mystery boxes. But I, as you guys know, if you've been following me for like a year or so, I fell in love with the Jouer highlighters that I had grabbed when they were in holiday kits last year. But that's really the only Jouer products I've ever used. And so when I saw the mystery boxes, I actually signed up for a like text alert, 15% off code. And I said to myself, well, if I can actually use the code on this box and get free shipping, then I'll probably do it. There were three boxes, one that was $45, one that was $55, and one that I think was 65 or 100, I can't quite remember. I was not gonna buy that one anyways. Um, and they showed a little sneak peek that was in each of them. And the one I went with was the second one, which was $55. I went with that one because the sneak peek of the first option had a full size highlighter, which I already had the shade of, and I didn't wanna have a full size version. So I went with the next one. I was able to use my 15% off and it had free shipping. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what was in it in case you wanted to get it because the last time I checked, they were still in stock. So let's go ahead and jump into the contents. The first thing we got were these stickers, which I mean are fine. I know a lot of people use stickers to put on their laptops, but I for whatever reason don't. Um, and so I'm not sure what I'll use these for, but I'm sure I can find some purpose to have them in my life. I was also able to get two um, foundation samples. So it's the Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. These can be really hit or miss for me because I never know if they're gonna give the like lightest shade possible, um, but it looks like they have a really good selection of samples. Um, so maybe I'll be able to find my shade, but if not, I mean, there are a ton of shades that they came out with. So, so if I these are too dark, I can at least try like lightning one and see if I like the coverage with my lightning drops. Um, they also gave me an enamel pin, which again, I could really do without, but I've got it. So, hey. All right, so the first thing that we got in here was the Jouer High Pigment Lip Gloss with Coconut Oil in the shade Champ. Champelise? I have no idea how you would say that. Let's just go ahead and look at the actual shade. So this can be really hit or miss on me. Sometimes these shades, depending on how, what they look like when they dry down a little bit, can look good on me. Other times they look awful, but if it looks awful on me, I can give this to my sister and she probably would like it because even though her and I both have red hair, we have very different complexions. And a lot of times glosses that look awful on me look fantastic on her. So this is not bad to have gotten a full size gloss in a shade that isn't like red or some other like heinous leftover color. So happy to see this. Then we got the long wear lip topper also with coconut oil. This is in champagne gold. Oh boy. I, I don't really know how, if I've ever worn a lip topper. That is intense. It's like really pretty, but also really intense. I'm glad it's gold because that probably would go best with my complexion. So we'll see how this plays out. They also gave us a slim cream eyeliner in the shade matte black, which out of all the shades I could have gotten, I'm glad I got a matte black. I'm not the biggest fan of pencils, but I will use them. Ooh, this is like real nice packaging. It twists, twists up, which is nice. Looks like this. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get usage out of this. So, so far, like we're three for three. I was a little nervous that they were gonna give like eyebrow products or things like that that I really wouldn't get any use out of. The next thing we have is what was actually in the sneak peek and it is the Flirt Blush Duo in Kiss Me and Touch Me. First off, the packaging of this is very nice. I've never really had a blush this well packaged before. And these are the two blush shades, which I think are really, really gorgeous. And then the last thing that we got in here was the Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I was actually really hoping to get some kind of eyeshadow in here. If I'm being honest, I was always tempted to buy the Skinny Dip Palette, but I never did and I kind of, kind of regret it. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's a very basic 
color assortment, which isn't a bad thing because a lot of these are shades that I probably would use all over um, my lid as my base um, up to my brow bone. And then some of these darker ones I feel like are really nice. I also like the mirror in here. It's really gorgeous. Their packaging is really, really nice. So those are all the contents of my mystery box. I do not regret this at all. I feel like for like $48 that I paid for this, I got five really outstanding products. There were no products in here that I was like, oh, I'm definitely not gonna use this, or oh, this was a real waste. And I think it was because I don't own any Jouer products really aside from highlighters. And so this was a really nice way to learn more about the brand. I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you're in the same boat as me. Um, I don't know if every single mystery box number two is the exact same, but maybe it is, fingers crossed, if you like this box and then I'm getting it. But I definitely thought it would be worth showing you guys and I'm curious to know if you had any idea about these boxes or if you bought any of them. I have since tried searching to see what's in the other two boxes and haven't come across anything yet. So if you know of anybody who has one or you yourself has done one, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys stopping by today and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.